how to use no ga in Japanese. So you may have come across this interesting piece of grammar in Japanese, no ga. And this is actually the combination of two different particles, the no particle, the possessive, and the ga particle, the subject marker. You don't need to worry about that. And this no ga is actually a short form of koto ga. And what this piece of language actually does when it's following a verb is that it turns it into a noun. So let's say, for example, you wanted to say, I like studying. You could say, benkyo ga ski. I like study. But that's the noun. If you wanted to say benkyo suru, studying, in order to use a verb like a noun with the ga particle, you need to use this no particle in between. So here, benkyo suru no ga ski. That means I like studying. Literally, you could kind of look at this no ga as meaning the thing of the verb that comes before it. The thing of studying, right? It kind of turns this into a noun. So, I like studying Japanese. Nihongo wo benkyo suru no ga ski. Literally, the thing of studying Japanese, I enjoy. And this is actually doing the same function as koto ga dun dun dun. Like, benkyo suru koto ga ski. It's the exact same function of language here, however, the only difference is koto ga ski is a little bit more formal and stiff way of speaking. So, you'll often see it used in both ways. Benkyo suru no ga ski. Or, benkyo suru koto ga ski. Just a little bit more of a formal way of speaking. And generally, what follows the no ga is some sort of adjective. Ski here is a na adjective to like. So, like seen here in Crayon Shinchan, I like reading books. Hon o yomu no ga ski. The thing of reading books I like. You can also be used after kidai, the adjective to hate something, like here in Jojo Bazaar's adventure. The thing of talking about mendoksai, annoying stuff, I don't like. So, mendoksai hanashi o suru no ga kirai. So, if you kind of go in reverse, I hate the thing of talking about annoying stuff. Another really common way you might see this verb, no ga, adjective used, is with adjectives like jōzu, to be good at something, and heta, to be bad at something. So like here, for example, in Fire Emblem Three Houses, Annette is very good at teaching others. So literally, the thing of teaching others, she's good at. Hito ni oshieru no ga, the thing of teaching people, jōzu, she's good at it. And also in reverse, Heta being bad at something like here in Persona 5 Strikers, you're not very good at playing dumb. So, tobokeru no ga, the thing of playing dumb, Heta da na. You're bad at doing it. And again, seen here, Kamyu was not good at lying either. So here, usotsuku no ga, the thing of lying, hetadata, was bad at. Another common adjective you might see this with is things like hayai, fast, and osoi, slow. <laughs> like here in Judgment, you're slow to notice. Kizuku no ga osoi. The thing of noticing, you're slow. Or you're slow at walking. Aruku no ga osoi. The thing of walking, you're slow. And same thing here in Voice of Cards. It's faster to go through the forest. So this to could kind of be a translation that you'd see it used at, but the actual function is the thing of going through the forest village, that is what's faster. And you might even see it used with adjectives like kowai, it's scary. Like here in Persona 3, the action of losing you, nakusu no ga, Kawaii, it's scary. And again, I'm afraid that our time together will end. 
So the thing of our time together ending, that's what's scary. Or like here in Detroit, become human. Aren't you afraid to die? So shinu, to die, no ga, the thing of dying, kuakunai no ka, isn't it scary? And finally here in Metal Gear Solid, I was just afraid to look at myself. So jibun o miru no ga, the thing of looking at myself, kuakata, it was scary. And then ikikata o kimeru no ga, the thing of deciding which way to go, kuakata, it was scary. So I would say this is definitely the most common way you're going to see this no ga being used. After a verb in the dictionary form, like aruku no ga osoi, hanasu no ga hayai. Mikata janai no ga zannen da. Maka no mama ja, kono sekai ikizurai no ga genjitsu da. So hopefully this video is fun for you guys to watch. Miru no ga. Tanoshi? Is it fun to watch? I hope so. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video. And if there's any other particular grammar points that you personally want to see covered on this channel, then feel free to let me know because I'm actually going through every single grammar point. Uh, I've made a huge spread list. I'll put a link in the description. I've actually collected every single grammar point that I can find in every resource everywhere. I'm compiling a huge compendium of every single piece of grammar and my goal is to cover it all on this channel. So I'll be going through things like, for example, right now we're covering Genki content as well as the N3, but then I'll also be continuing on with the N2, the N1, and then eventually even redoing the N5 and the N4 in this style as well, and covering a whole bunch of language that's not even in the JLPT. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, say hello, and if you really enjoy the channel, then consider supporting us on the Game Gengo website or on Patreon, and you can come join the Game Gengo Discord community, come say hi to me, kind of have a direct connection, chat hang out together in Discord. I chat a lot all the time with everyone. That's pretty much all I'm always doing is working and chatting on Discord. So uh, it's a really nice place to just kind of hang out, get some help with your Japanese. My wife also works helping everyone with their questions in Japanese. And I also jump in every now and then and help my wife and help everyone with the Japanese questions, as well as the community themselves. They're a very helpful community. So if that's something that interests you, then feel free to come join us directly through game-gengo.com and you can join the community directly or you can come join us on Patreon as well. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying learning Japanese. And as always, I'll see you again in the next video. See ya.